Hey guys, welcome back to Behind the Scenes. For this month, we are taking you into the world of microlinks. Now, some of you may have heard of this with Caucasian hair, but we found a hairstylist in the DMV area who was doing microlinks for black hair. So, of course, we went behind the scenes to see how she does it, how long it takes, and how you can do it too. Stay tuned and you'll find out. It's called iTip microlink um, extensions. These are like pop most popular method hair extensions for clients that want to have a natural look without um, you know going under wigs or full weaves and these are popular method of hair extensions that are coming taking back over they were out years ago but now they're becoming more of a rave because they are reaching out to a more diverse audience now back in the day you can only get dye tips for like Caucasian and Asian and now they're becoming a lot more popular now because we have different textures that are available so here we go so you're gonna Put it, yeah, push it up. Make sure you push it up with your finger. All the way up, right. There we go. And then your tool, here we go. And, and these are the ones you create yourself, right? Well, we were making some by hand. These were actually pre-ordered, so these were pre-made, but these are all hand handmade, yep. Yep. And then they're, they're attached with a small micro ring. This is a micro bead with a keratin infused, um, a cushion that protects the hair so that the hair isn't damaged. These extensions stay in sometimes they work in three to six months. So um, it's a very lightweight method and um, very safe method. Push it all the way up. Yeah. Is it easy to learn how to do it in a class? Like, it I mean, for me, and I didn't get to do hands-on when I learned. I was, I was, it was pretty easy. I was definitely, um, once I actually got into someone's hair, I was like, oh, wow, this is different. But I got it. I got it. It really, um, it's really a lot more beneficial if you're actually doing something hands-on. But they're really not hard if you are a um, licensed or even if you um, have a knack for hair. It's something that, you know, I'm a visual person, so I can pick up just by looking. But it's really not hard. But it's really um, good if you actually understand hair and build up a hair and uh, the signs of hair so you're able to maintain and advise your clients properly. You don't want to just put these type of extensions in and they're mishandled or put in any kind of way and clients not advised properly because you know with any hair extensions you have to have some knowledge and you know be able to advise your clients on the do's and the don'ts proper maintenance and so forth and they're super lightweight super lightweight and they're really 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 um really popular now yeah. yeah, I've seen your Instagram. Like it, yeah, yeah. Every, as soon as, yes, and as soon as I um, showcased it, everybody's just, and I, you know, I have them in myself, so, you know, I'm enjoying it in a very light way. I wore wigs for years, eight, nine years, and now it's a great alternative to um, to doing that. So we'll do, let's do one more run, and we can use um, this hair. I think we need to do Three left. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't mind if you put me on the side. Yeah, I'm like, you can feel to me. You can feel to some of this again. This makeup looking a little crazy today, but <laughs> I just had one of them days. So again, so they can keep it in for about like um, three months. After ten weeks, you're gonna have your client come back, and I'm gonna show you how we do um, maintenance. So you're gonna open the ring, push it up, and then clamp it back down. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But you just definitely want to tell someone that they have to come back for after at least about 10 weeks because the weight of the extension, the ring, and the new growth might be a lot of stress on the hair. So you want to make sure that they come back and get their hair properly made. But they treat it like their own. They shampoo it. They, um, you know, do everything that they normally would do. Flat iron, curl, all the above. If they swim, you want to make sure that they um, either put their hair in two braids. They don't go to sleep with their extensions wet. At least they need to um, blow dry or finger finger dry with the blow dry. Don't go to sleep with it. Yeah. 
How long does it usually take to do this stuff? Um, start to finish about three hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, three hours. If you need to color it, of course you want to prep the hair before the client comes, so the coloring process can be a little bit more tedious. You need to write to the mm -hmm. So the the prep part. Um, you know, of course, it'll take a little longer, but from start to finish to actually apply the extensions, um, about three hours. And that includes time. Once you become more versed and more, I started to notice I'm doing them like within like two, two and a half hours now that I've got like the hang of it. Yeah. And sometimes if a client wants, like, if you want to ask them if they get on this good. If you want to ask them if their hair is full enough, you can say, do you want to do half up or half down? If they do, then I will leave a little section at the halfway point of their hair out. That way they can pull it up, pull it down. Some people, okay. if their hair is thin or I don't really, and I feel like they need all the, the tips, I won't even ask. I'll just do it all throughout. Because I even, my like, mine are, mine are all throughout. I can still pull it up halfway, half, half up, half down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask a combined question just to type in my question. Okay. Okay. She wants me to ask oh, a question. Sure, of course, please, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, like one month later, the new hair come out, yes. then the texture yes. going to be different. Well, this is just for practicing purposes. So, like with this mo particular model, we want to make sure with anybody that we do that we have texture that matches them just because she's training this will be more appropriate for her because this mm -hmm. is her texture so when the new growth comes it will all be consistent because we're going to have the same texture um, for the individual the only reason why they, they're mismatched right now is just because we're practicing but that's what we do when we do the consult process everybody that gets microlinks has to get a consultation because these are important factors that we have to um, factor in we gotta make sure texture color um density everything is on the same wavelength and we have everything from start to finish because you don't want to put in a texture that doesn't match the individual's hair no matter how much they want or like oh, i want some deep wave give me some curl curl if you have naturally coarse hair and your hair texture it, it, it wouldn't won't suffice i gotta as a professional i advise you on what's best we're definitely going to do something that matches your texture and, and then that's why you're making your own. yeah well i make them because actually ordering from the distributor Getting our hands on these, it takes about 10 days to prepare these, sometimes 10 business days. And sometimes you have a client that walks in like, hey, I want to come in tomorrow. I had somebody come in today saying that. So you have no choice but to go in and make them by hand. So you get loose hair or you'll get track hair and you'll cut it off the weft. And then we have a tool that's similar to a flat iron and we have some glue and we, um, we make it with the, the glue. So, uh, sometimes you have some people with specialized preference that uh, a distributor does not make certain types. So we have to, yep, that's the glue right there. Those are the ribbons. So all those, the, the clear beads, all of those are different types of, these are all different types of glue. glue. So, and I'll show you how, how we make them in a minute. So while she does that, I'll show you how we make them. I'm going to put this on this plate right here. How these are made. So this one, we just made this one. These two. So I'm the, we're instance that we have someone that has a specialized texture that we just can't get our hands on. We'll just cut it off of the weft. Cut it off the weft. And we're gonna use a small amount of glue. This is the same glue that they use in the process of um, infusion, actually. So infusion is very similar to microlink, but they are done with, instead of the micro bead, you use glue and then they they put it on at the, the base of the head yeah at the root of the hair so we're gonna add two pieces of glue this even. On the left yeah. just make it a little tacky go in Smash it. And this is how we're binding it. 
Don't 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 laugh at my nails, guys. My nail appointment's at <laughs> seven o'clock today. Then we go in. This is your eye tip. That's your eye tip. Yep. So, and then you want to make sure that you keep like one of your. I keep one of my. This is the micro bead. So, you keep one of those just to measure, just to make sure it's not too thick. So, this one, yep, it passed. So, there we go. So, these are. That's your eye tip. Yep. So, that's how you make them. So, we could order them. I like to order them then because. To make an entire head, which is like 150 pieces, it takes about four hours to hand make them. Mm -hmm. So I like to order them. At least I can just take them out the package. Right. But sometimes in some instances, you have a client that walks in and say, hey, I got to go to Miami tomorrow. Can I please get on? And I don't have 10 days to, to wait for the hair to get here. Yeah. So I have to sit and make it. So, But it is a fee for that because if I tip them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. It's about $50 <laughs> an hour just for me to tip them. But the beautiful thing about these is they're very natural looking, lightweight, and keep them in long term. And... And it's worth it, you know. So, in in lieu of putting wigs on and sewing wefts on to hair, it, it can be stressful on the hair. So this is a great method of hair extension that is natural looking without causing damage to the hair. But it has to be properly maintained by a professional. Yeah. So you pull the loose hair that's out. And now we just cut. There we go. Put your eye tip. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, it sounds easy, girl. Make, I mean, it make, sounds... Look, make 150 of these. Four hours later, you like, look, who, who do I order from? But sometimes you got to do what you got to do, and it's a good thing right. to know how to, to do it because right. you will have instances where you, or you might have ordered 150 pieces and you don't have enough for your client and you run out and you have to go back to basics and you got to make them. So, yeah, so you just gotta make sure you have all your tools and certain certain color glues for certain color hair, you know, blondes and lighter colors, you gotta use lighter glue and darker hair. These are ribbons, this is all glue, but they need to be cut in small cubes. Yeah. So it's just a little, it's a, it's a method to all this madness, but definitely have to be versed and trained properly to know how to do it. Yep. Thank you, got it, girlfriend. Thank I got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking good. Remember to pull it down. Yep, yeah, this looks good. Perfect. So you see how the texture, you know, when it grows, this texture matches this hair. So this mm -hmm. hair will, everything is going to fall into place. And usually your natural hair and the crown will cover the length. So none of this will be vis visible. And again, um, depending on the hair texture, these um, could stay in up to six months as long as they're maintained properly. I've um, seen people keep them in longer, eight months, ten months. But, you know, you have to come in and get them. They open them up at the link. I'll show you how that we do this. We open it up after about, um, yeah, about two months or so. Open it up. Let me see your tool. So after you, um, before you shampoo your client's hair, you want to go in. This is before. This is, they've, it's been two months now. You're going to take all of their links. You're going to open it up with the same tool. Mind you, the hair is going to be grown. So we're going to pretend that this is where it was. We open it up because this is where, when they come in, this is how it's going to look. This is how it's going to look in two months. So you're going to open it up with the tool slightly. You're going to push it all the way up to the root. You're gonna before clean you shampoo out after. before you shampoo. Okay. You're gonna clean out all the set because it's gonna be build up and it's gonna be loose hair because you know the hair is supposed to strand, um, shed 100 strands a day. So you are gonna have some shedding, but it's not, it's minimal and it's normal. Then you go back in, you insert the eye tip, and then you clamp it down. And this is maintenance. So after eight weeks, that's what you do. Yeah. Eight to ten weeks. I say ten weeks. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. So you got it. So when they first get it done, you know it's it's gonna be up there. So when you try to pull it up, it's it might be a little tight, but I always tell them the first day is always a little tender, but then it gets looser. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So the next one we're gonna do is the invisible. Uh, section 
And this is um, what we call invisible braidless braidless weave. Okay. Like you do a mix like with the links and the invisible. Okay. It's really just preference. So you can have your client if you want to. They can hold either side. Just for today, we'll just use clips. Awesome, so good. Yeah. But when the client holds it, it's a lot more um, secure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get your puller. I'm going to get a piece of her hair. A piece of the track hair. There's a small piece of the track hair. Oh, you know what? Because you did a link. Yeah, yeah, hold it up for me. Right, yeah, that's how I would have my client hold it for me. Got it. Thank you. Baby. So, a piece of her hair up here, a piece of the track here, and a piece from underneath. And put it in. Find out how you can lose up to a pound of fat per day. Oh, right hand. <laughs> Sorry. Pull it all the way up. You're going to plant it down. Oh, okay. So, you do the same maintenance how you do with the. Um, mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Piece. Piece of track here and then a piece from underneath. And you don't want to have too much hair because it won't go through the puller if it's too much. Pull it up. And so this is how you do it. Braidless weave. He's making fella. Mm hmm Braidless weave. Yep. So the hair, everything is in there, but there's no braid. Yep. So braidless weave. Piece from the top, piece of the track, and piece from underneath. Yep. Braidless weave. And how many bundles would you say you could? It's really preference. Usually if somebody's going to the client's hair will be all out as well. So you could probably double it and you could do like a bundle and a half. Or you can get two. It depends on how large the client's head is or what they're, what they're requesting. Some people just want some for fullness. Some people want some for length. So if somebody wants it for fullness, I'm going to try to get as much as I can get in. So probably about a bundle and a half. But you got to keep in mind that their hair is going to be out too. So getting two or three bundles in it probably won't really happen. So it's just different methods for different types of looks that individuals want. If somebody wants something really, really cool, like three bundles, I'm going to suggest going ahead and get a, a sew-in. Versus, <laughs> yeah, versus doing um, track by track. Now, so that's that method. This is considered like the me time method. Then you can do, there's one where you take these out. Take them out. And this is how you do um, you You're going to incorporate thread with this one. So you will go in and you will get your section. It will be it. So about an inch apart. And if you have somebody with like short hair or just somebody that just wants some pieces added, you can do it this way or you can do it the way I just showed you. Okay. So you go in. You can take the train, you can take the muscle, 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 you Change. You know, if you look at Shaw, which once upon a 
Thank you so much, baby. through the hole, mm -hmm. up underneath it. My hair is so soft. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you do that. So you go under. And you're going to sew it right up underneath. And this is another method of braidless weave with no braid. Just going. And just throw it. Right up underneath the line. So it's flatter. And it's not weighed down by a braid. And this is another method. Braids. that came in and said she had hers in for 10 weeks. So, this is from the, that's from the last month. That's not, yeah. Oh, okay. This makes it more flexible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and flat. Yeah. So, and then no braid. So, some people just want it flat with no braid. So, that's a method of braid this week. All right. So these, these are good. Remember, just keep your sectioning um, rectangular, and you want to make sure that you don't use too much hair because, for one, it won't fit in your beater, and you pulled it perfectly down at zero degrees. You don't want to put it like all the way up here because mm -hmm. it's not. It's going to cause the client if, to like stab the client. You want to drag it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you did it perfect. And that's it. So remember a client, they must have about five inches all the way around, at least shoulder length. Um, you want to make sure that you are using the appropriate texture and the appropriate amount of hair. This is good. Make sure that you see this point right here. Make sure it's a little lower because if you pull it up, you see it might stab her. So your tips, you want to just drag them down just a little bit. So that way it's pliable. It can, it can move to just pull it down just a little bit. But it's good. Yep, so that's good. Yep. Yep, so we covered how to make the links. I mean, how to make your eye tips. Covered the the braidless sewing. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Uh, holding my hair. Yep. And eye tips, individual eye tips. Okay. Yep. That's it? That's it? Yeah, that's good. I guess we did that pretty good. <laughs> that was good. I told you you're fast sign like I Thank you, Jimmy Shoe, so much for showing us how to do microlinks. If you have any questions or if you want to follow her or if you are interested in being in our next behind the scenes, make sure you follow us. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you back.